Hi and welcome to another tutorial from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at a quick tip how to make your Inkscape file Blender ready for use. So we have um, the balloon icon that I did. So we're going to make this balloon icon ready for Blender use so that we can animate it later on. Good. And we're going to be doing a lot of this, you know, in my tutorials where you have to use Inkscape files and import them into Blender. So it's important to know how to prepare your Inkscape SVG for Blender. Good. So the first thing that you need to know is that opacity does not work in, in Blender. So if we go ahead, let's create this circle. This is a full color. We notice the alpha is completely up to the highest mark, meaning that it, it is opaque. Good. It's got no transparency whatsoever. And also the opacity is complete. So there's no transparency whatsoever. If we move this opacity, move this slider down, we get different opacity values, and we can also change the alpha. Blender does not record alpha from the SVG file that is created with Inkscape. You know, it does not import alpha channel objects any at all. It will create a opaque color for you, and generally does not work. So opacity does not. Um, transfer over from Inkscape to Blender in SVGs. So that's the first point. The second point is about objects and paths. Blender does not import objects any at all, it only imports paths. And if you want to know the difference between objects and paths, I'll leave a link to the video in the description because I've done a video on that already. And also there will be a link in the top of the um, window, top left. So paths are the only things that blender imports so even if you have an object from inkscape here it will convert this to a path so you might as well convert them to a path for yourself to avoid any sort of um, conversion issue and you can do that by going to path object to path and this will become a path so that's point number two point number three is that blender does not import gradients good so gradients, it's an example of a gradient here, radial or linear or mesh, Blender does not import gradients any at all. It will replace it with a gray color, colored background. So if you want a gradient in Blender, you have to go into Blender's internals to create a gradient. And I'll have a separate quick tip on that in the future. So in the near, the near future. So you can look out for that, but you have to create a gradient in Blender. So this will not transfer over, you know, so you may might as well just delete this and then just create the gradient in Blender itself. And lastly, is that Blender does not import objects, or import paths, sorry, with the fill and the stroke. So what do I mean by that? So if I duplicate this, let's give it a different color here. We can see this is just a fill. It doesn't have a stroke if we hold press D for dropper tool and select this and give it a stroke. This path has a stroke and it has a fill. Blender doesn't import paths with strokes and fills. If it sees it, it sees that the object or the path sorry has a stroke, it will only import the stroke and it won't import the stroke thickness. You have to add thickness to the stroke a diff by a different means. So you know where does that leave you? You have to if you want both the stroke and the path to go into Blender then what I would suggest you do is duplicate the shape, shift control and D, remove the stroke off of one and remove the fill off of the other and then put this underneath so you have them separate. So this will import the stroke and the path. And remember when it imports the stroke, it won't import the same thickness. So if you want to maintain the thickness, then you can go to path and stroke to path, changing the stroke to a path itself and this will come out exactly as you see it here. Good, so that's the last point. Blender does not import, does not import fills and fills with strokes on them. You have to separate the stroke from the fill. And if you want the stroke to maintain its thickness, you know, um, you'll have to convert it to a path because it will be reduced to a small curve, to a thin curve, um, Bezier curve when you import it into Blender. And that is today's quick tip. So just to run over again, opacity does not work in Blender. You know, you have to make sure that these paths that you are importing into Blender, um, 
Blender doesn't support paths with both fill and stroke on the attached to them, so you have to separate the paths with one with fill and one with stroke. Good, and I think I said no gradients. Gradients don't work with Blender. So those are the four points. Good. Hope you enjoy this quick tip from the Golden Ribbon. Until I see you again, get up and design a new day. Later.